What is up explorers? Today we're back on another abandoned adventure. We're in England and we're here to check out this absolutely huge abandoned mansion. Everything's left behind, completely frozen in time. There is a lot of decay and a minor vandalism, but this place is absolutely amazing and I can't wait to show you all. Let's do it. On this week's episode, we come across this amazing abandoned mansion once owned by a rich and wealthy family in the south of England. Inside I discover all the contents still remain inside this six bedroom mansion, practically untouched besides some minor vandalism. The house looked as if it had been abandoned virtually overnight, giving a great insight to the family that once lived here. Today we try to uncover why the house is in fact left to decay what happened to the family that once lived here and how long this place has been unoccupied. So join us as we take a look inside this stunning abandoned mansion and see what remains. Okay explorers, enter in the house now and check this place out, absolutely huge, everything's left inside this one, still good condition too, I think it's like five bedroom, four or five bedroom, toilets, but like I said literally everything's left, you can see all the medication in the, fr in the little bathroom thing here, artwork up on the wall. Little bits of vandalism and decay with the shelves have broke there. But absolutely amazing place. Artwork up on the walls. I'm assuming these are the guys that lived here. Crazy. Still got jackets hung on the wall. Just so much left. And everything is full. Strangely, front door is just open here. The old razors. Yeah, front door just left open. See the pipe, all tobacco products. Celebration of life from Randall. Died in 2010. And look, another one of these phone book things that we've been seeing. Big old grandfather clock. The face is actually smashed on it, which is a shame, but still, Pretty cool to open up and see inside. Just still nice condition besides the glass there. Big gold mirror. There's a lot of money left in this house. Big spiral staircase will head up there. Look at this wooden chest. All Christmas decorations in here. Christmas cards. Glasses left. Look at this wooden ship. Nice, it is starting to fall apart though. You can see the white mold on there, very decayed. And wow, that is an old telephone. Just gonna have to blur that middle bit though because it does give the address away. But that is an old phone there. Even taxidermy left here. The old owl watching over the place. But absolutely amazing. Old photographs, Victorian times. They're dotted all over the house. Wow, but you can see decay. Wallpaper stripping away there. All bubbling, mold coming down the walls. Such a shame. Move through into the next room and check this out. How amazing is this room here? Living room, sofas and chairs still left here. Christmas tree up on the side. Definitely abandoned around Christmas time. Santa there with his full sack. But some of the stuff in this place just completely frozen in time. It's mad to see the decay around the some of these very valuable items as well. And like I said, black mould coming down the walls. All around the artwork here. 
big old oak, oak coffee table, all been scratched there, looks like somebody's been trying to make a, a Ouija board out of that. Amazing fireplace, look at the stonework around it. Family photographs, a lot of personal possessions here as well. Look at this guy just chilling there, looks a bit cheeky, looks like he's been up to stuff. The original elf on a shelf there, here's the family, young family as well there. I wonder what happened to them, clock just stopped. And look at these old black and white photographs left, candles. Big old trinket cupboard, still full. Got all kettles, teapots, buttons. You've just got to have button collections in a bando house. Wow. Oh, what are they for? Little spoons. If anyone does let me know what things are in the comments, very grateful for that. Does help a lot. Old newspaper here. Hasn't got a date on it. Oh my days. 1837, February 4th, wow, 1837, so nearly a hundred years, no, nearly 200 years old, that can't be, wow, nearly 200 years old that paper, and it's just sat in this abandoned house, lamps, but look once again, wallpaper just peeling away off that external wall, so a lot of damp coming in the house, such a shame video collection in this cupboard Laurel and Hardy river dance <laughs> Michael Fratley giving it biggins absolutely beautiful conservatory you can imagine sitting out here in the summer nice and bright with photographs set up by other explorers I'm guessing more Christmas parties there sparklers Christmas parties but you can just see how amazing this house is it looks like the people that lived here would have had a fair bit of wealth as well huge house with a lot of valuable stuff in here and it's nice to see some personal stuff left as well but it does make you think where have the owners gone very strange you can see here as well it's all original laughing plaster as well no plaster boards heading through to the kitchen it looks like Wow, nice big kitchen. Siemens fridge, we'll check that out in a sec. But more glasses and old watches, brooches, surrounded by the dead plants, and more art. It's an old comic. There are times, Basil, when I feel you're losing interest in me. Oh, there you are. Old comedy. Checks here from 19. 64 30 pounds to John made out to John and you can see the house has been abandoned a while it's all cobwebs and dust debris around this sink definitely looks like people have been in this place there's paper and letters all over the floor which I don't really want to show because of addresses but a little seal there we're gonna have to check this fridge ah empty Empty guys, that's a shame. But we do have an old photograph in there as well. Maybe a family member. More checks thrown everywhere. Just gonna have to be careful with addresses. There's letters absolutely everywhere. And we have a passport. So I'm just gonna check this passport out. John. So it is John's house guys. More old photographs, checks. These are really old as well. 1925 on this check. In the box here, look at this old scope for a rifle, possibly a hunting rifle. Checks again, just lay out everywhere. This scallops in that jar, ooh, don't want to give them a sniff. Cupboards have been cleared out. Look at the old scales at the top there though. This is such a nice house as well. I'm so surprised that a place like this has been left. Seems quite modern in this kitchen as well. I've just noticed as well, diabetes um, strips on there. So John may have been a diabetic. 
There's your little knick-knacks drawers. Family photographs hidden in this box here. Wow. All cutlery. Crazy. Amazing kitchen though. But like I said, it does seem quite modern compared to the other room. I'm gonna head in this room now, but it's absolutely pitch black in here. Carpet is squidgy as. You can probably hear that. But it looks like a, a living room, but more personal in this one. A lot smaller. Maybe the other room was used for events, Christmas, things like that. And this one was more of a chilling room, more casual. You can see the TV in here. Oh, so much damp in this room as well. Shelves there. You can see that they've locked the door off. So God knows what's on the other side of there. Possibly a garage, maybe. You see the light fittings have come down. Wow. The decay in this room is another level compared to the rest of the house. Such a shame. Big vase on the top there as well. That's going to be knocked down and broken eventually. Look at the propeller. Leads. Wood, woodies is that? I can't make that out. Writing bureau. There is stairs here as well. I think there is another way upstairs though. So we'll check that out. I can just hear my feet squidging away. And check this dining room out. Wow, big table. There is tinsel across the top of that shelf there. Look at the mold on the books. Completely covered. Wow, should possibly be wearing a mask in this room. Let's look at this mold. But it is quite ventilated, so I'm not too worried. But that is a hella black mold there. More artwork. Look where the doors have just completely come off the hinges. I feel like that's more decay than anything because it's not been knocked down to the floor or anything. It's just against the wall where it's come away. And as I said, there is more pictures laid out by other explorers that may have been here. Or maybe people that have just had a nosy. But look at the old family photographs. Christmas again. Definitely a Christmas vibe. Look in the living room. See the fireplace? Same armchairs. Just sat around having a party after their Christmas dinner. Oh, and they're definitely well to do. Look at this. Nothing. Oh, a date I'm looking for. No date. But it looks like they're at some event there, possibly a charity event. There's the old house there. Look at this little boy stood at the front gate. It did have a thatched roof at some point as well. So this house has stood here for some time. There's the house again. And look at that old car outside. Wonder if that's John. And then another Christmas party. So this house is very old, very dated but it's just been modernized outside. The roof's been changed. It was a thatched roof, now it's all slate, which is strange to see. I'm uh, just making my way over here, but I've got to be careful because the floor is not the best standard. But I just want to check out this trinket cupboard. And look at this, look at these guys. Wow, untouched. Just surrounded by mold, bit of decay. Looks like the shelves are giving way. So this china is all going to be destroyed, broken. Look at their eyes, they look evil. Welsh guards. Yeah, you can see the glass is starting to break as well. But all this china is going to be destroyed. All broken. What a shame. You can see how overgrown it is outside as well. And that door just heads back into the other room that we've just been through. Especially with the Christmas decorations lying around as well. Look at that. Old ye old heater there as well. We're gonna head through this broken door though. Wow. Opens out again. But I just want to check this out. Rules of the inn. No thieves, fakirs, rogues or tinkers. No skulking loafers or flea-bitten tramps. 
slap and tickle on the wenches, no banging and ta of tankards on the table. And this is from 1786, wow. Bed for the night, one shilling, stable for horse, four pence. Wow, that is cool. Oh, a little cupboard here, hidden away. Mad drinks, black adder, VHS. This looks like CCTV footage, to be fair. I wonder if they did own a pub. Old map of Sussex and Kent. I'm just thinking with that crazy drinks, and there's a lot of tank cards and things knocking about, and then rules for an old pub. I wonder if they did own a pub. They were landlords at one point. And you've got to have a sewing machine and a bando, haven't you? Look at that. Just look how amazing some of this detail is in these. It's absolutely beautiful. Old coat of arms there, Mallorca. Even cameras. Wow. Old lamps. I can't get over this house, guys. So it looks like it's been abandoned at Christmas time. Very silent in this house too. Check that for the horses there. Corfu, they obviously traveled a lot too. And these shelves are coming down, look. Breaking away. And then another kitchen somehow. Check this out. This seems more of use than the other one. Like I said, maybe the other ones are like entertaining rooms and these are more practical. That's quite a new washing machine. And look at this china plate, been broken and fixed. Just on here, ready to be washed. Like I said, more modern appliances as well, which is strange, considering the rest of the house. But absolutely amazing. This last room, just an old bathroom here. Oh, what the hell? into a garage. That's strange. Didn't see a, a doorway for that garage. Like I said, more modern appliances, showers. Look, there's something in the toilet there that we're not gonna show. Every time, guys. Every time. Oh wow, look where the mirror's fallen away and there's mold under the mirrors. That's interesting. Okay guys, that is downstairs and what an amazing house so far. It's such a strange mix between decay and modern items and also like the amount of money left in this house very strange very strange indeed i'm gonna head up these stairs first there is two upstairs in this house just gonna skirt over those letters so they've got addresses on them oh that banister's uh on its way out look at that this seems like a bit of an office room you can see oriental umbrellas. I've seen one downstairs as well. But like these cases, I think they are for CCTV. That's why I'm thinking maybe they were pub owners. Wow, look at the decay in the roof. Definitely missing slates there. A diary for 2005, so a bit more modern. 2008 on that newspaper. So maybe we're getting a bit closer to when it was abandoned. Haven't really seen any other dates yet. Old new, uh, old, old PC there, monitor. And there is clothes in that wardrobe over there. Can we, oh, if we get around that way, we're gonna make ourselves stuck. But there is clothes still left in there. House is like a maze, it's so big. See the broken windows? Wow, this is, yeah, definitely an office, 100%. And look how old this computer is. Macintosh SE. Wow, that is a crazy little screen there. You see tobacco left on the side. Obviously he had a drink of wine whilst he was working away here. Played his cassettes. Little kids toys there, probably reminded him of his family. And look at that old projector, Hollywood Studio. That's cool. That is cool. More cassettes. 
it's nice to see that he brought little family bits into his office here as well right we are going to head over to the other upstairs now where the bedrooms are but what a place guys it's such a shame to see it decaying away here Ooh, that banister is not going to be lasting long but yeah like i said let's head over and check out where the family slept crazy place Okay guys, so we're gonna head up these spiraling staircases. Wow, you can see the mold on the walls. Look at it all bubbling the paintwork away. You can see the white mold at the top there on the picture. It's a bit of a funky smell up this way as well. But all filth and dirt around the windows looks like bird poo. Artwork, like I said, white mold on there. It's a shame. You can see it just coming through on this one. Nice nature picture there. We'll head into this first room. Looks like a master bedroom. People have definitely been in. You can see the wardrobe's collapsed, look. I think that is under decay as well. But it looks like it's been cleared out. There's a few bits over on the right hand side there but we're not going to be able to get in because the door's against the wall but look at this big double bed in here looks like people have been going through the place perfume antiques left look at this artwork are they horse riders just chilling having a bev probably after a long day there stressful day riding horses Wow, coins, little trinkets, birthday cards. Just gonna have to be so careful with the dresses here. So we've got another date of somebody passing away here. August 2000. 2008 is the latest date we've seen so far. Birthday cards. You are 70 today, born in 1927 retirement relax and enjoy it so there's cards with dad on so why has the house been left like this like this broken conservatory the front doors open obviously people have been in and ransacked the place you can see that in this room quite obviously so why has it been left in this way look at this dresser absolutely stunning got the jewelry hanging over the mirror at the top there to my husband and then like jewellery boxes wow amazing that little what's that previewer I'm not sure what that is guys if anyone knows let me know picture of their child but you can see here like the, the curtains shaking in the wind because there is broken windows here old cassette player What's this? From Italy, liqueur. Wow. Oh, well, you can definitely see this was a quite female, heavy room. All the clothes in here are all female. Wow, look at that white mold around it though. So it's obviously been sat here for some time. Here's the fella's bit here. Oh no, it's just one top, it is all female. <laughs> so she definitely dominated this space definitely dominated the wardrobes wow incredible room such a shame to see it in this way it looks like they had a privacy curtain across as well look that's interesting wonder why they had that nice little light fit in there as well heading back out into the corridor coming to this bathroom now wow huge bathroom you can see vandalism on the walls I'm gonna try not to show it though Miller artwork above the bath little trinkets oh it's still got her dressing gowns on the back of the door here which is cool and her makeup all set out 
bath has definitely seen better days you can see all the tiles have popped up all come off the wall here a lot of decay in this house yellow toilet more trinkets on these shelves a marble top on that stool there absolutely love this though so where the tap has been leaking you can see it's made a carpet of mold heading down the sink I've never seen anything like that so preserved but it definitely looks like something off the last of us look at that not on this one though it literally just come out of that tap all your lotions and potions toothbrushes toothpaste razors your standard bathroom attire equipment amazing oh you can see your dentures just sat there boiler's still here all towels wow so it is quite untouched besides some minor vandalism oh this is the fellas one look a lot more empty, I don't know. Got nail polish there. Definitely seems like it was abandoned around Christmas time. Just can't get over the paint peel here as well. Oh wow. That is a nice bed. Not as big as the other one though, definitely. It says on here Norman's room. So I'm guessing it's a child's room. You got the best bed. Look at that oak. More women's clothes. So she definitely had more clothes than one wardrobe could handle. I'm sure some people out there can relate. The mirror's broken on the wall there. It's just a shame. Hang on, I thought this was Norman's room. What's going on here? We've got fur jackets. Proper 70s style handbags. I'm not open. Oh, there we go. Oh, shouldn't have touched that leather jackets look at this look at the sun hat with white mold all over it i feel like she definitely uh the female of the house definitely took over in the wardrobe department wow look at this dresser incredible still got the little teddies on the side here as well beautiful artwork Look at the de decay. Absolute shame. So we're going to the part of the house now where the really decayed rooms were downstairs. We're above them. So I'm just going to be a bit more careful as the floors will be a bit dodgy like. This is a child's room I'm guessing. There's teddies on the side there. Maybe grandchildren. So this is in a pub model shots there look so I'm definitely feeling like these people owned a pub they were 100% landlords look at the decay there the crack in that wall that is quite deep quite bad 30 is Norman there so Norman's birthday cards so I wonder where he is now map of UK so Norman's room has been cleared out of clothes but there's still a few trinkets left look at this nice fireplace in here as well look look at the detail in there stunning wardrobes collapsed there under decay not vandalism oh you can see an old wash basin over there nice no piss pots Look at the crack in that wall though, Jesus. Haven't seen a crack that deep in a while. Right, let's head through. So that is down into the really decayed living room there. So we're gonna, we don't really need to head down that way. We are above the living room now with the sopping carpet and look at the decay in here. Looks like this room was already cleared out. No bed in here, but we've still got clothes female clothes again I think I've only seen one wardrobe for a man in this house nice fireplace look at the carpet though 
you can hear it squelching away I am going to be careful though because this floor might go through I'll end up sat on the sofa oh an old coffee maker there tea's made thing they're cool to see look at the decay is that a crying girl picture it is perfectly preserved with all decay around it there's something about these crying girl pictures there's the crack from this side old wardrobe again women's clothes Jesus someone was spoilt oh watch that floor and then we have this dresser just sat in the corner still flowers on the top there absolutely beautiful So there you have it guys, an absolutely amazing time capsule mansion left in the countryside. We figured out it was last abandoned in 2008, well that's the latest date we've seen anyway, that the owner was called John, he was a granddad, a husband, a father. No idea what happened to him or his family to leave this place abandoned, but what an amazing explore. If you've enjoyed it, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit notification for future explores. I am on to the next one and I hope to see you there next week. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Cheers.